And hello, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is David Cross with you, and happy Saturday. Um, I, if, if you've seen a couple of my latest videos, you'll see that I've recently been getting into some PowerShell Studio and getting into some graphical things. And, you know, for some things it works, some things it doesn't. But when it comes to a testing apparatus, it works really well. And I wanted to kind of go over a real quick subject that I think I'm going to need to have a couple of videos to kind of dive down into the code. And really specifically what it's about is list views. You know, having the ability to display data in a column row based syntax and then to, you know, have that information be able to quickly pop up and uh, pull up into the screen. You know, search, have the ability to do column sorting and things. And you've all experienced that, I think, if you've you know gone through different systems. So as when working with these and working with list data, uh, the typical list view, you know, seems to work fine. And so when you start getting into the hundreds of kind of list view items, there shouldn't really be an issue with performance. As you get into the thousands and potentially into the millions, which I've come to find uh, in my testing, uh, the list view just breaks. And uh, it's about 10, 15 years now that I've, I've stumbled upon the virtual list view and Vir Visual Basic, and I've been using that kind of, um, you know, uniquely in every one of my applications. I, I just prefer to have that, and I kind of made a note of that in one of my other videos. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to do you a quick comparison and not only a comparison of the actual list view, virtual list view, um, and also in comparisons like thousand million records, but also on a virtual system versus a physical system, which I found to be somewhat surprising as well, considering the resources I gave to it. So the first thing is I started up here in my uh, Power Studio, just running some you know, basic functions. I created a tab structure with virtual list view and I have one with the list view, and then I have some test results and tabs. And because in the million records, it gets up into the few minutes, I wanna keep this simple and I've already run this for you. So really what I'm doing is I'm doing a test. I can clear all the list views and I can specify a number. And when it's run, it's gonna give me a count that's completed and it's gonna give me the number. So the virtual list view, I'm also running in a background job. So it's going out and running this in the background. And then when it's complete, it's populating the list view in the background as well. And so my hope in this and building this into my DNS projects and others is a list view performance to make sure that as I'm updating and pulling things that I can have this kind of performance in the background thread. Okay, so that was you know pretty straightforward. And then the list view, when you look at it, you know, you might even find that the list view is faster, uh, a little bit slower at this level, um, but in some cases it might be faster. So if you're using, you know, 100 records, great. But now as you kind of, you know, increment this, uh, linearly, basically, you're going to start finding, you know, when you run a thousand in the virtual list view at uh, 0.4 seconds, or I guess that's four seconds there. And then the list view here, we're getting at one second. So it's 0.4 seconds versus one second per thousand records to list view that. So now I'll take this to the next step, just real quick. We're going to run 10,000, and I'm going to, I think, stop it there and show you the results because from here, we start getting into differences that of uh, times differences. So now when I run a list view of 10,000 records, I had three seconds on my virtual list view. I get uh, about three times that when I'm looking at the counter. And that's about right. So I'm at nine seconds now to populate a thousand. So where we went from the difference at 100 records of just a fraction of a second, we're now at two times the difference. And then when I started to scale that up into the 100,000 records, and I think we can go up here and take a look at this. The virtual list view took 35 seconds. The list view took a minute 31. And then I ran a million records, which took five minutes and 35 seconds. And because we know that this is three times effectively the difference, that'd be 15 minutes to populate a list view versus five minutes in this system. Now, one thing I noted with this, and I, I kind of found, well, this is a virtual system. I've got 32 gig of RAM, two processors, and a terabyte of disk space. And you would think that, well, performance, well, not so fast. When I went over to my uh, Pentium 7, I have 16 gig of RAM, and I'm running Windows 10, my physical machine. At 100,000, I'm at 12 seconds. So I was at literally one third the difference of my virtual system just running 100,000 records. And then when I ran a million records, I was at two millions on the, on the virtual system. Now, I also ran the million on the list view on the physical system, and that came in in about 10 minutes and 31 seconds. So if you can imagine, on the virtual system, 
that I was running this on at five minutes per, you know, 100,000 records or a million records there. And then you multiply that times three and then by three again, and you come to find that, well, virtual issue is definitely the way to go. <laughs> if you're dealing with anything over a few thousand records, and this is pretty simple to test. Um, so I'm going to, uh, I think in the next couple of videos, I'm going to make a couple series on this, I think, to go through a few of the code aspects, background jobs, the virtual list view and aspects that I had to find and use. And then I'm also going to build a new project with this Amazon. Uh, I just want to kind of pull some stuff for some demonstration. So uh, come, you know, hang tight and I'll be back uh, hopefully shortly with some code to kind of go behind this and show you the differences. But, you know, for the PowerShell Studio guys, um, you know, interesting way of doing it. And if you haven't figured this out yet, I can go through that in another video. So take care, good luck, and uh, we'll see you soon.